Hello viewers, welcome to our today's tutorial. My name is Engineer Aule from SBIC. In our today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can model any type of steel truss here in Revit. You can see I'm using Revit 2023. Before we continue, I want to appeal to you this is the first time you're coming across this channel kindly show us some love by subscribing as you can see it's a new channel subscribe like and if there's anything you want us to discuss comment in the comment section so without wasting time let's get started so if you are new the first time you're opening Revit is how it looks uh, how the interface looks you can arrange customize your tools based on how you want the project browser and, and then your properties can uh, have, have it one side but i'll choose to have it separate so the first thing we do now is to create our grids okay so you can go to structure and you can see grid here or you can type gr on your keyboard and it will still prompt you to draw your your vertical axis a vertical grid so one is snapped at 90 degrees and you click okay so now i can also tick here but i want to change here to a so this the, the span of our building the span of our building is 15 meters 15 meters okay then the length is 25 meters so we can just copy this we copy zoom copy from here you can type 15 meters that is 15,000 millimeters okay you can enter Okay. then when you're done with your vertical grids then you can draw our horizontal you can either go back and pick grids or you can select any one of these say create similar then you can draw the horizontal one you make sure it snaps at 180 degrees at a straight line so you click okay so now our on our our naming as the name this as one the horizontal we are named as one okay so now we can copy this select and copy copy this to five five meter interval that is our columns have been placed at five five meter interval up to the length of 25 meters so you can copy from here just type 5 m enter is 5 meter 5 m enter or you can go up and type 5000 still the same enter okay 5000 enter so this one two three four the remaining one 5000 So when you're done with this, just click on this, trim it a bit, click on this, trim it a bit, okay, click on this, trim it a bit, this, okay. So the next thing you do after forming your grades is to create your levels, and to do that, you can go to any of these elevations east north south or west go to north then the default we have three meter level one and level two okay so now i can click any i can click this level at zero zero this is level zero zero i want to have foundations i'm going downward i minus one two so create similar 
okay you just go small it doesn't matter you can after you can adjust it click here and then type my foundation depth is 1200 okay then i will also copy this and go up create similar i have here this is my my peak my column is going is my up my roof peak so i can, I can rename this this three meter the height of from 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 our natural ground level up we have five meters enter okay and then from here from the eve to the peak of the roof we have two meters enter okay so you can come here and rename your level if you wish you have ground level have foundation level just click outside rename it okay come here you can say this is natural ground level click outside okay then here this is our eve have this is our eve Eve, click here, okay. Then this is our apex. Okay, so this is what we have. Click this, drag it a bit off, drag it a bit down, okay. Open here, very open. Okay, this is what we have. This is too wide and bring it drag it inside like this okay drag it inside a bit okay so after forming your your elevation this your levels these are our levels then you go back to your natural ground level and here from here you can start to draw the model let's let's do it this okay that So now, the next thing you do is to create our view, our elevation, the particular view at the particular grid. So go to view, go to elevation, and go to framing elevations, and pick at grid one. Okay. Okay. Then you can come here, select here. Uh, now I like to expand my view. Let it is cut across. Let it cut across. Okay, then you can come here, double click. Okay, you can have your view. So this is elevation at grade one A. Okay. So now we can draw our columns and then put in insert our trusses, our steel trusses. Okay. So to draw our column, you can go to structure, go to uh, concrete, then you see, okay, we have some columns here, already loaded, if you don't have column, you can load family, and you have column, so I'm going to use, I'm going to use, Okay, let me use this. Okay, let me in verse 305. 305. Okay, so let me. The column is starting from here and uh, is ending here. Okay, it's 305 by 305. You're not seeing it where you can go to fine, fine level of details. I have this okay next thing and insert our concrete column go to structure column so I have concrete have concrete columns here and pick 
is okay and edit it and duplicate is a uh, so we can have 500 500 by by 500 let's make it a square column okay and change here to 500 and change inside here to 500 okay can apply okay then you can select from here to here okay then we can now have our base our our foundation so we will have our foundation you can go back to foundation level okay you will not see it here you go to the natural ground level okay then this before that let's rotate our column rotate let's rotate it by turn it by 90 enter okay let's have it like this okay so now we can insert our foundation so go to foundation so the default is this one eight by one two by this is the height and the thickness of your foundation so I can edit it can duplicate so I want to have one five five hundred by one five by one five by four fifty I'm gonna say by four hundred okay say so, okay so here I have 400 here I have 15 15 here I also have 1500 you can say apply ok then you can find the middle here and drop it so this is what we have so you can look at it in 3D click here Okay. okay so we didn't select so you see our foundation is inserted at this at the natural ground level so we can click on this and then open here take it to foundation level okay so this is our foundation you can change to shaded you can change to realistic so you can navigate it to whichever view wish so this is what we have so let me change it to share that so the next thing I will, I will, I will do is to insert our but this is a steel column is going to sit uh, is going to sit on a, a, a steel plate that is anchored into this concrete column so we'll put a steel plate that is anchored so we select the column select this the steel member and go to structure go to connection okay as the connection has been inserted but there is no connection here so we have to load so go to structure then come here come to this arrow give it time to load Give it time. Okay, when it loads here, okay. Pay attention. Here you load only the members you want to use. For the most most time, people will just pack all these connections and load it. When you you load it, you slow down your system. So I want to select the ones I need. So the base plate, take it that side. Okay. So let me use the base plate for now. If I need another one, I can see come. Okay. Then from here, can connect.
connection you can go to connection here and select the base plate now you can see it will be inserted to insert it so come to find level of detail okay let me delete this let me do it again click this click this Structure connection. Okay, so now you can come here, pick your steel, your base plate. Okay, so the base plate has been inserted just like this. So now you can select it and modify and work on it modify parameters open okay with this if you want to increase the first base plate layout base plate thickness I want it to use the thickness of 20 okay base plate dimensions this is 250 this is too big for you you can adjust it so I want to have 200 200 okay make it all here okay, to 200 okay to 200 make it 200 okay so we can make all this see so then our our this has changed so we can corners here you, you want to have some curve shapes at the corners you can take here to have it okay then anchors anchors i want to have the length of my anchor i want to have 450 okay go down in the concrete with 450 okay then i have washers and have anchors this is uh, we're gonna have two two pieces okay if you want you can have three and you can reduce this space to 150 c 150 okay let's see 200 let's make it 150 ok ok then ok go this way we also have uh, 3 and we'll make it 150 ok we can have something like this this way you can still you can make them two you can make it to 200 no. okay and I can have 300 350 350 to have stiffness I see to have wet 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 all around wet okay I have stiffness um, have middle stiffness there is middle stiffener here okay let's have it at both sides okay I see the stiffener is here I still have the stiffener here okay this I have this the height size height all those you can just with you can play along with it so I say no more I say okay apply okay okay so this
this is what we have. So you don't want you can reduce the size of your column. Okay, let's reduce it to 400 or 350 by 350. Apply. Okay. Okay. This is too small. Okay, let me increase it 400 by 400. Apply. Okay. Okay, let's leave it like this. I think it's okay like this. So the next thing we do now is to copy. Copy this our column to the other side. So go to your elevation. this copy and then copy from here to here okay so now we have this so now we can insert our truss go to structure truss okay truss is loaded if you don't like this you can load more and go to structure Go to US, go to structural trusses. You can have different types, you can load whichever one you want. But I want to actually use this and modify it and load this. So you can see it has come, but I still want to make use of this. So I can sketch, you can start from here draw from one point to the other okay okay so this is what we have so at this point you can select this and edit it edit so now i don't want this not the shape i want i want to have a slopey type of truss so i can pick line from here where the blue one is starting to have here 500 so one side and uh, this other side it starts from here and it goes to this our level it goes to this level okay so you can delete this and join so now you, have, you, you can just sketch I'm just sketching just resketching, modifying it to resketch. Okay, have something like this. So this is what I want. You can say okay. Okay. So now this is the type of truss that I want. You can select this. Scroll down. You can say bearing vertical. Let not be center, it's in the center, let it be at the bottom. Okay. Okay, let it be at the bottom, the bottom. Okay, you can look at it in 3D. This is what we have. So you can select this. In case you don't want to be seeing all those uh, levels, you can just type V G visibility graphics and come here and turn off the levels turn off the levels uh, apply okay okay so you can have it like this okay so you can select this hold select all instances in view okay graphics by element come here and select solid give it color uh, I want something like deep uh, deep green okay apply okay okay so this is what we have so now 
the next thing what I want us to do is to change the members because these are the default members and they don't be the members that you want you can see their i beams I don't want to use i beams here okay so what do you do you click on it you edit so under here you can see this is 305 that is here you can select and pick another section if the section that you don't you want is not here you can load it you can always load it and bring them into right for my case i want to use the circular circular section so i want to use circular section 193 let me use this okay and for my top code i will use this okay for my bottom code for my vertical code i'm going to use I'm going to use this hollow section, the smaller one. Okay. Then for my diagonals, I'm also going to use this. I'm going to use this. Okay. Then for my for my bottom code, I'm going to bottom code and my top code. I will use the same member. I'll use this. Okay, I can apply. I can say okay. Okay, so this is what I have. This is what I have. It's pretty good. Okay, so now uh, what I can do now is to join to wear this, to wear these members together, to wear it together. Of course, there will be a plate here loaded to the plates and all this will be loaded so to do that just go to st okay use this select this member hold control select this member right click and say finish selection you can see this has joined well so you can come edit go to parameters the distance web you zoom there this is distance between this and this I don't want I have it zero have it zero have it zero okay then come to word create word word give my word thickness to be four okay and you can close okay so we can do the same thing here I'll select this hold control select this hold control select this right click finish okay so okay same thing stay um, select this hold control select the right click finish okay you can finish it see you can go here go to stay uh, select this select this right click finish okay you can see this is joined well cope select this select this right click finish okay you can see it's joining both up and down everything is joining well so select this Select this, select this, right click, let this join first, then after and select this, select this, and select this, and right click, finish. This can also join well, as you can see. So, this is how you, you do it for all. Let me just pause, then complete it, and we'll continue. Okay, so when you have done all and you apply all your weddings just like before this is what you have okay so now the next thing we do now is to copy this let's put it in position you can copy so copy all of this and go to your natural ground level and copy it copy so you can copy from here 
دیگه بشه یا بشه یا this is selected okay let me go to 3d again Basically, this is how you can model your truss and model your steel truss of any type. So the next thing I want us to quickly do is to I want to show you how you can now put your insert your your pole lines on this. So without wasting time, and this is a cyclic section. So we want to. Insert our pole lines. So to insert our pole lines, we can set a, our work plane. We can go to our, L, our elevation to set our work plane along this. So go to reference, refer, reference plane. Okay, I want to save. Okay, so I can pick. Pick line. Okay, I can pick this line and then give it a name. Say so I'm going to give it uh, MP. I can give it any name. Okay. So this MP, you can you want you can stretch it. Let's stretch this MP a bit. Okay, let's try this MP a bit. Okay, so now this is the area that I want to. And you can go to architecture, you can splash and see. Okay, let's go to this, let's see. This okay, okay, it's captured. Okay, so now let's set our work plan. Now we can select the name uh, MP reference plan MP. Okay, so now you can go to structure. On structure, you can go to beam. 
speaking beam okay I want to use my pole lines I want to use uh, um, let me use this as my pole now let me use This sniping is uh, okay. I'm selling from here. Started where? Okay, let's delete. Okay, so let's start that again. Speed from here. Select this, select 
go control select this select this select this and go to top take it to bottom create it to be on top like this yeah okay so now the next thing we do is to populate it along this so we can go to this and then let's copy it first let's copy let's copy all this copy and go to this then we can populate it copy let's copy here in Tower okay Process here in Revit. So, okay, so I can decide to select this. I click select or similar new. Right click, override graphics by element. Come here, key, change color. Green. Let me make it deep darker green. Same thing for the columns. Select all similar in view. Okay. I click override graphics by element. Change here this. Okay. Columns. I want to give it. Uh, can have any condition color that you want? something like this where we're going to end this video maybe in my next video I will show you how you can get detailed drawings and how you can produce your GA drawings your elevation drawings here in Revit structure if you find this video useful make sure you like make sure you subscribe you encourage us by your subscription make us motivate us to do more videos of this kind thank you uh, see you in the next video